I don't know what our shirts are doing on. I mean, this is the beginning of our whole show, dude. Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Ah. Recently occurred to Chris and myself that not only are we movie stars, but we're scientists as well. So we've come all the way to South Africa to have some intimate encounters with the people and the wildlife. And we're gonna get totally rad the entire time. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Nature, Nature Show. We're just outside of Cape Town. We're about to enter an area known for having extremely aggressive baboons. And as you can see by the sign, they're also very dangerous. And attractive. Uh, on your tongue. Hey, huh? Wait, let me see. Your saliva is far scarier than any poo. <laughs> it books the tobacco, chosa tobacco. Mm. It's not the ganja. The wacky tobacco. It's not, <laughs> not ganja. Some tobacco what they plow in the rare areas. Every once in a while, somebody puts in some ganja. No, you don't put ganja. Ganja can be used it with some pipe, not this one. Ah, okay. Pipe, Where's pipe? the ganja pipe? Ganja pipe, they in a Zulu village, I'll show you. They in a Zulu village. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. The Zulus, village. now they smoke yeah. the ganja. Yeah, they yeah. smoke the ganja. Zulu uh, warrior smokes yeah. ganja. No, Zulu warrior smoke the ganja. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Here, look at the, look at the tattoo. I have a, a small, small wiener. wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. This is yeah. so awesome. Hey, hey guys, we are Zulu warrior today. Yeah, today. Zulu warrior. Today, shit, I might be Zulu a Zulu warrior for the rest of my Zulu life. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, He's cutting. You rolling? Yeah, I do. All right, bitch, let's do it. <laughs> All right, focus. <laughs> you rolling? Yeah, dude. All right, bitch, let's do it. <laughs> okay. We're in the very southern... Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, dude, 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 hop on a record, because I think that might be kind of cool. <laughs> We're right. on the southernmost tip yeah, of yeah. Africa. Of yeah. Africa. You rolling? That, yeah. that, that sounds good. <laughs> hold on. I'm totally proud of this. Let's go. You got it already. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You rolling? Yeah. All right, bitch. Let's do it. We're on the southernmost tip of Africa right now, and this place is full of insane sea life, and we are here to check it out. Today's episode is going to be devoted to the ocean realm. The Indian Ocean, where it meets the Atlantic Ocean. And we're going to personally climb the entire ladder of the food chain of the seas, all the way up to the Great White Shark. <laughs> <laughs> we're going in undercover in our zebra costume to try to study the zebra's true behavior. Hopefully, there's no damn lions around, because they'll kill us. Ow, you fucker. God damn, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm bridging my nose. Like the way you get hit when you break it. Now I'm gonna fucking move my nose around more like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Here. No, you've lost trust. <laughs> Welcome to Alaska, home of the ice. <laughs> All right, you, if you're going to talk, I'm just going to silently <laughs> pose. All right. Today's episode is shot entirely in Alaska, 
Where the... <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> you really want me to... Like, that was let me, good. Let me, let me, let me get... Alaska. Set the snow. Set the snow. Set the snow. Set the snow. You didn't get that. I just fell down. I got dragged by a fucking dog. You didn't get it. Did you get that, Mark? <laughs> you can do one, dude. <sighs> I'm more than a middle up there. More than a little mad at you for not getting it. You're right. I was trying to get a shot, man. I'm sorry. If you ever encounter a bear in the wild, the last thing you want to do is turn your back on him and run away. What you want to do is make yourself as big as possible, and maybe he'll get scared and run away from you. Oh my goodness, walking on the sloppy marsh is like walking on the moon, only you don't have to wear any of those crummy spacesuits. Those things went out of style in 1969. Neil Armstrong, you buster. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Today was a good day for science. I had an incredible experience with Chris and Stebo, encountering grizzly bears and black bears in the same place, feeding on salmon. I had some quills into me, I had them in my pants and so on, and there was one I couldn't get out, and I said, oh, well, whatever. I thought it would work its way out. Months went by, and all of a sudden I had this itch up here. It went in my wrist, mind you. Months went by, it traveled all the way up, and, it, and I pulled it out of my shoulder. All that way it traveled, and every time you move your muscles, and like you were saying, it drives in deeper and deeper. Every time you move, it goes in deeper. So if uh, this goes in my butt cheek, it's liable to come out my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, after I say check out Alaska, then you do that. Yeah, like, can we block them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And we'll, we'll come out like this, Steve-O. Like, yeah, yeah, get real tight where it's just, just us. Okay. Bend all over and shit, get real low. Yeah. All right, cool. Ready? If you thought everything in Texas was big, Check Holy out Alaska. <laughs> if you thought everything in Alaska was big. Holy Wait, crap. Hold no, 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 I know. Also, there's Chuck Homer. If you thought everything in Texas was big, check out Alaska. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Chris, get in there. Yeah, get it all jingly, dude. Chris, get it all jingly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Dad. Yeah, do the arm thing again. What? Yeah. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me get, let me get warmed up. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is sweet. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my two chiefs. We have a naming ceremony. You are now known as Buffalo Wing. Buffalo. Uh -huh. Wing. Yeah. Chief Spread and Eagle. <laughs> <Spread eagle. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Buffalo wing. Spread. It's because I have chicken legs. Why do you call me Spread Eagle? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> David Weathers is in charge of safety on the set. He's been attacked by every animal going like twice over. 
try to come through the fence to get to you and help keep his attention long enough. It don't look good for the boys. You have no problems with him going out. He has bite marks all up and down his arms and legs. And he's in charge of safety. Did you roll that camera cord off? Keep rolling, Mark. And black bears like sweet things, like candy bars and cookies. But I don't. Hmm. Let's go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired, dude. Maybe we'll look for black bears later, but right now we're gonna take a nap. Make sure the bear resistant cooler's closed. <laughs> it's a simple fact that every single spider in the world is poisonous. Some are more poisonous than others. What we have here is the banana spider. Pretty poisonous. Ah! <laughs> 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 No, but I'm down with that thing, man. <laughs> How many times I get stung, dude? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, like 15 or 16 times. <laughs> my ass is nasty. <laughs> Did it look cool? You looked hot. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, dude. They're so itchy. Ah, ah. I'm like pushing venom into my butt. <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> well, we had a wonderful day frolicking about the swamp in our mantis, tracking down the Florida panther. Mm. And what did we learn from all this? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are hot right now. That's it. That's the one. Oh. <laughs> that was on there. Oh man. We're gonna be messing around with some big turtles. So it's important to stay in tip-top shape. Here's some old baby boy exercises. Around the time when England controlled over 80% of the globe, they figured that Australia was the last place anyone would ever want to hang out. That's why they sent their most hardened criminals here. The animals here have the sharpest teeth, the deadliest venom, and possibly the largest penises. That's, That's why, why they, they called, called it a, a penile, penile colony. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna be nobody gonna tell me what I'm gonna do. Uh, oh! oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Two in a row. Romance is in the air. <laughs> <laughs> we get this. Try it. All right, here I go. <laughs> Romance is in the air on a cold, dark, wintry day in Tasmania. 
But now it's time to learn about some of the birds that are naive to Australia. Here we have the most naive of them all, the kookaburra. Let's go in for a closer look. <laughs> ah, God damn, I hate this bird. This... Trying to poke my eyes out. God, I hate cockatoos. Ah. This... Ah, God! <laughs> He's fixing to bite me, I know he is. God, I almost lost an eye. Ow, God! <laughs> ah! I hate cockatoos. At about 1,500 bucks a pop. Ah! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you got, don't worry, don't worry, you got it. <laughs> don't worry, dude. You're putting me right no, in the no, line no. of fire. No, I'm not, dude. All right. At about 1,500 bucks a pop, the cockatoo is the biggest... <laughs> in the pet store. <laughs> Ow. At about... Ah! You gotta say why. All right. Yeah, I know, I know. Right. At about... <laughs> at about 1,500 bucks a pop, the cockatoo is the biggest rip-off from the pet store. Not only do they bite, they have the most annoying voices in all of the world. Behold, the sun's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Behold, this wallaby has been run down by an ATV four-wheeler and has passed on day. <laughs> God. God, this, this is so hard. Sarko Phyllis <laughs> Sarco Phyllis Satanicus, I summon thee from thy fiery grave. <laughs> Sarco Phyllis Satanicus. <laughs> Wait, when, you guys, I got one, but you're gonna laugh, so be careful. When, when Sarco Phyllis Satanicus dines, it loves to begin with door number two. <laughs> when Sarco. When Sarko Phyllis Satanicus dines, it loves to begin with door number two. How about <laughs> God. When Sarko Phyllis Satanicus dines, it likes to begin with door number two. How about you? Eat the flesh of the offering. Eat it from the box. We don't even know where we are. We're gonna unlock the mysteries of the ingenious people and animals. Will we unlock the mysteries of the ingenious people, people and tune in and find out. People and people and ant cultures, people and places <coughs> of this exotic. Will we unlock the exotic, the mysteries of this exotic people and place? Probably not. <laughs> but we're gonna tear this place a new one anyway. Yeah. All right. So, um, so you say New Zealand. A blah blah, blah mystery. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what. New Zealand, a mysterious land of mystery. Are we gonna be the ones to unlock the secrets of this mysterious place? Probably not. But we're gonna get totally rad! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>! Ow! <laughs> 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 The key is a highly intelligent bird, and it's also named after the crazy sound that it makes. Unfortunately, the sound it makes doesn't sound anything like Kia at all, indicating that it's probably a lot smarter than the butt nut who named them. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, we're at Hell's Gate, New Zealand. This lake is as much a part of hell as, as hell. hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was supposed to do that. 
<laughs> New Zealand. It's where they got the idea for Mars. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I figured, dude, that thing fucking annihilated me because you harassed me. <laughs> Belize, a land of such unmatched beauty and abundant wildlife. You'll never believe it. <laughs> oh man, you're so glad you weren't down there. I mean, I never seen shit like that on TV or nothing. Oh man, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to fall asleep tonight. There were so many sharks. Just, <laughs> just went right, right, you know. <laughs> so rad. Oh my. God. God, they were thrashing around everywhere. Here we have the pride of Belize, the scarlet macaw. If you ask me, looks like a damn parrot. Hey, you want a penis? Oh, oh, God, damn. Duh, duh. Good parrot. God, he bites harder than the vulture. Chill the fish. Okay, go! Duh! Ow! 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 The stork is such a violent bird! <laughs> you gotta quit being such a baby, man. Hold on, dude. It's a bird. Yeah! Come on. Oh my god, it's a bird. Go, get good over there. Duh! <laughs> God's a violent bird. I'm over it. No, one more. No, oh, fuck it. No, I'm sick of it. Fuck that. Fuck that bird. Go eat. Our fucking food's all shitty, and that fucking bird sucks. They light you up. I'm... I didn't know that, you know? Like, such as with termites as anything else. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> but as soon as I touched those damn things, they lit me up. Yeah, that was an instant. There wasn't uh, much time between, like, <laughs> as soon as you, like, went down on it, there was just... Ah! <laughs> oh, so ends a rough-ass day.